Hi guys, welcome to another video about the series of uh, full electric or hybrid boats. Uh, I am uh, in the project, continue every day installing more and more equipments. Uh, and uh, today we are going to be concentrated in the bonding, in the grounding and uh, in the connection of uh, the galvanic isolate. As I mentioned before, the idea of this uh, project is uh, explain to the people the process to convert your boat into a hybrid or a, or a, a full electric boat. <clears throat> In this particular case, uh, I, I have a, <clears throat> the propulsion system and I have the house. In the house, uh, there are two possibilities. Uh, the house will be running with the solar power or the house will be running with power from the generator. Or, of course, I am going to install power, short power connection if the boat is on the dock and uh, you want uh, to connect the, the boat to the dock, to the pedestal, you have those two possibilities. We are going to analyze the connection to the shore power and the connection to the generator and where will be located the galvanic isolator in this particular example. Okay, we have here the connection of the shore power. Uh, this is a single phase project. Uh, it is double phase is exactly the same. We have the connection here, hot neutral and ground. and. Uh, also, we have a, the generator will be located here where I am seated. The generator enter here, and this is the automatic transfer switch. Okay, uh, and from the output of the automatic transfer switch, we are going to connect the inverter charger, the smart inverter charger. The problem is with the ground. Uh, the problem is uh, the contamination coming from the ground of the marina, the ground of the pedestal. And the only way to avoid that uh, those uh, unwanted currents coming uh, through the ground is installing the galvanic isolator. We are going to install a galvanic isolator. Remember that the capacity of the galvanic isolator in amps should be exactly the same than the capacity of uh, the main breaker on the AC panel and of course the capacity of the inverter charger. This inverter charger is for 30 amps. Uh, this uh, galvanic isolator will be great because uh, match with the inverter charger and match with the AC panel. Okay, uh, now I am going to explain what is the criteria to install the galvanic isolator. We are going to interrupt the ground cable, the ground cable coming from the short power, enter here in the short power side of the galvanic isolator. And after that, from the output, in the connection to the boat, enter into the bonding conductor. This is the main bonding conductor. And uh, finally, the main bonding conductor will be connected with the sink, with the sacrificial anode. Okay? In the main bonding conductor, we are going to connect all the metallic elements, the metallic case of uh, the inverter charger, uh, the metallic case of the AC panel, the metallic case of the DC panel, the metallic case of the isolated converter. In this particular case, is isolated. We don't need connect, but uh, this one, the, the MPPT, the frame, will be connected to the common bonding conductor. And the common bond con bonding conductor will be connected externally with the sacrificial anode. I am going to repeat the ground coming from the short power, enter in the galvanic isolator. From the galvanic isolator, I fit the bonding common conductor, and the bonding con common conductor will be connected with the external sacrificial anode. Look at this. From the output of the galvanic isolator, I am going to connect the ground. And this is the ground that will be entering in the inverter charger. And this is the ground that will be going out, entering in the AC panel. And that ground will fit the ground bus bar. This is the neutral bus bar and ground bus bar. Remember, ground bus bar and neutral bus bar should be separated, never connected inside of the boat. They will be connected only at the source of the power. Uh, this is uh, basically uh, the project. Uh, the project is uh, advancing every day more and more. Today, the explanation was dedicated exclusively uh, to the bonding conductor system, the grounding, and, uh, and, uh, and the ground. Now I am going to explain the difference between bonding, uh, grounding, and ground. Bonding is uh, the connection of all the metallic elements in my boat with the uh, bonding conductor, with the center bonding conductor. Those bonding conductors, those pieces of metals, normally are located on the stringers of the boat. 
and those bonding conductors are connected externally with the sacrificial anodes located in the transom normally. Okay, uh, the connection of all the metallic elements to the bonding conductor, this is bonding. The connection of that bonding conductor with the external sacrificial anode, this is grounding. And ground, of course, is the reference of that external sacrificial anode connected with the water and the ground. This is the difference between bonding, grounding, and ground. And this is the proper way to connect the galvanic isolator in this wonderful project, the project of a hybrid or full electric boat.